you, you speak about leaders in Africa. Do you think that Sadiq is playing in, in uh, uh, the role that it's supposed to play? There's no because... such a thing. <laughs> Sadiq, there's no such a thing. AU, there's no such a thing. It's a group of old people who protect <laughs> each other. They don't protect the interests of the, their people. It's a, it's a club. It's, it's a gentleman club. They don't care. They don't call each other out. So they, are, they are unable to say you are wrong here, you are wrong there, and therefore this is how we need to fix it. And the way forward is that the youth must take politics serious. The youth must participate in politics. The youth must lead. Because most young people have left politics into the hands of old people who have nothing to do with us. AU has got a, a plan called 2063 and, and those people won't be there in 2063 that's why they can say 2063 they won't take responsibility so we the youth who must talk uh, suffering from political apathy and take the future into our own hands that's how these structures are going to function because we know that if we fail if we say 2063 now and we fail, we'll be held accountable in 2063 because we'll still be there. But our leaders won't be there at that time. Young people must start reawakening themselves and take politics serious. When it comes to voting, they don't vote. When it comes to political participation, they don't participate. They, they have given themselves into other things other than what matters, uh, which is politics. If you go into America, if you go into developed countries, they take voting very serious. Here, we have to beg people with material to go and vote. <laughs> if you don't uh, cook, if you don't give them t-shirts, they will never go. <laughs> I mean, what type of an attitude is that? When you know that this is what is going to decide whether I'm going to have a clinic or not, whether I'm going to have a school or not, that affects your daily life, but you treat it as a bad day.